hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so in the previous uh, videos uh, related to waves and oscillations we discussed about simple harmonic motion the basic concepts associated with it the mathematical equation representation of shm and uh, also we discussed the mass spring example that uh, arrangement or that example of simple harmonic motion so in this video we are going to uh, discuss another important concept associated with uh, simple harmonic motion or shm and we'll try to compare it with uh, uniform circular motion okay and we'll, we'll analyze simple harmonic motion in terms of uniform circular motion okay we'll correlate uh, the two so simple harmonic motion we know that uh, it is an important oscillatory motion in which a body exhibits to and fro movement about an equilibrium or mean position like this we have already discussed it we have covered it in the shm basics so the initial position O, the equilibrium or mean position, particle initially at O moves to and fro about this point, be it from O to P to Q to O or O, Q, P, O. So it uh, moves to the extreme left and right up to a maximum displacement, which is equal on both sides and then returns back to the initial position. And this is the displacement versus time graph of SHM. We have also covered it in that SHM uh, simple harmonic motion basics video. So the displacement versus time graph is uh, represented with a sine uh, graph, okay, sinusoidal function. Now we have to uh, analyze this simple harmonic motion in terms of uniform circular motion, okay. So what is uniform circular motion? Now, let us suppose we have, a, we have an object or a particle which is uh, moving in anti-clockwise direction. Okay. Let's say it is initially at B. Okay. The particle is initially at B then it starts moving in anti-clockwise direction with a angular velocity omega okay so this this is circumference this is the path the circumference of the circle this is the path of the particle the path traced by the particle the radius of the circle is a okay and uh, the path traced by this particle starting from B in anti-clockwise direction will try to compare it with this SHM. How this movement, this also certain characteristic of it or certain feature is equivalent to simple harmonic motion that we will try to prove. Now for that what we have to do is that when the particle is at any point okay any of these points which i have marked by uh, black dots okay thick black dots we will draw a perpendicular from that position to this diameter okay will a a dash will draw a perpendicular and that distance of the foot of the perpendicular or the tip of the perpendicular which touches the diameter from the center we will calculate that distance just like this see let's say the particle starts from b moves in anti-clockwise direction let's say it is it reaches point p so we drew a perpendicular it touched the diameter a a dash at m okay so we will calculate this distance om okay the distance of the foot of the perpendicular at m from the center o, om now let us say the particle reached this position q 
ओके अगेन वी ड्रू अ परपेंडिकुलर परपेंडिकुलर क्यू एन टचिंग द डायमीटर एट एन नाउ वी विल मेजर दिस डिस्टेंस ओ एन नाउ इफ वी एक्सटेंड दीज परपेंडिकुलर्स एंड ट्राई टू ड्रॉ विल वी ट्राई टू यू नो जॉइन दीज पॉइंट्स एट डिफरेंट when the particle is at various positions on this circumference on the circular path this will be a sinusoidal curve okay let's say the particle is somewhere here if we draw a perpendicular from here to here and we'll touch it it will be somewhere around here this when it reaches this particle when it reaches a okay that if we draw a perpendicular it will be the same thing if we extend it this will be the peak okay the maximum distance so if you can observe a pattern here this distance of the foot of the perpendicular okay this foot of the perpendicular okay here at n here at m the foot of the perpendicular drawn from the point where the particle is at that instant if we measure this distance from the center of this circular path om on this okay this is simple harmonic motion okay this om n a so the foot of the perpendicular okay the as the particle moves in a circular path okay in anti clockwise direction it it is at these points and we draw perpendicular from these points to the diameter and the foot of the perpendicular be it at m n a dash a this distance from the center of the circle o that exhibits simple harmonic motion which is equivalent to this okay so i'm talking about this distance o m o n o a o a dash so if we draw more trace more points here let's say the, when the particle is at here we draw a perpendicular it will be here here if we the part the particle is here if we draw a perpendicular here it will be somewhere around here here so i have drawn only taken only two points otherwise the figure would have been very complicated very clumsy and it would be very difficult to explain so i only took two points to explain when the particle is at p we drew a perpendicular it was at these two points when the particle is at q we drew a perpendicular and it was at these two points then at a and a dash the peak extreme points okay maximum minimum in the opposite direction so this path traced by the foot of the perpendicular okay the foot of the perpendicular drawn from the point where the particle is at a particular instant of time that exhibits simple harmonic motion okay o to a then again back to o then again a dash and then o that is one complete cycle o a a dash o or o a dash a o that is simple harmonic motion okay so this value okay this uh, distance of the foot of the perpendicular from the center it continuously changes that is that follows a sine curve let us call that y so this uh let's say when the particle is at p this om let us call it as y okay om y which is the distance of the foot of the perpendicular from the center and now as it is a variable quantity we have taken it let's say y which is this uh, it follows a sinusoidal curve and op is equal to the radius of the circle which is a the angle which this point the line joining this point to the center it makes an angle theta which is omega t the angular velocity multiplied with time now these two are alternate angles so this will also be theta so om by op om by op will be sin theta sin theta is perpendicular by base this is the perpendicular the angle uh, the side opposite to the angle in the right angle triangle and this is the base p uh, om by m so this is sin theta 
ओके दिस इज साइन थीटा परपेंडिकुलर बाय हाइपटेनियस ओके साइन थीटा इज परपेंडिकुलर बाय हाइपटेनियस ओ एम बाय ओ पी सो नाउ वी कैन रिप्रेजेंट ओ एम एज ओ पी साइन थीटा और ए साइन थीटा और ए साइन ओमेगा टी y is equal to a sin omega t which is the equation of shm okay so you understand this angle which the radius makes with the point where the particle is at a particular instant p which is theta which is omega t this is alternate angle theory this is also theta sin theta is perpendicular by hypotenuse which is om by op op is equal to a which is the radius of the circle so y is equal to a sin omega t which is the equation of simple harmonic motion simple harmonic motion this is simple harmonic motion so now we have established a relationship between uniform circular motion and simple harmonic motion in this way okay the foot of the perpendicular from the point on the circular path traced by the particle okay that foot of the perpendicular measured the distance measured from the center that exhibits simple harmonic motion okay so this is a uh, an important correlation an important concept so i thought i should discuss this so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much